Hello, I thought I'd talk about Voldemort, yeah, he who must not be mentioned, um, but everybody must know, I mean Tommy, and I got an email, like a lot of people probably did this morning, from tr.news, uh, explaining that, you know, he's been arrested, and um, I was like, oh, you know, what's going on, what's happened now, you know, because it's, it's a subject I, I've, I've tried to not talk about Tommy so much. Uh, because there are other people in this now, and you know, I don't. I, I continue to support him, and you know, I trust the guy. But you know, it, there comes a point when he's so divisive that you think, okay, other people step forward and please be, you know, lead this thing because Tommy's so tainted that it's almost impossible now. You know, the, the state has used every single one of our assets, our money, to make it this way, backed up by a, a corrupt media. Um, I've seen the videos. I haven't analysed this. I haven't gone over and over and over again, but it looks very much like uh, Tommy's daughter was fondled, was, you know, sexually, I guess, in a swimming pool in a, in a I think it's Centre Parks. Um, and watching the video that he filmed talking to her. She would have to be one hell of a little actress for him to sort of make this up because I suppose that may be what people say. Oh, he's just, he's been a thug and he's hit someone and then he's persuaded his daughter to make up a story. I mean, I don't know if people are going to say that. It sort of, it popped into my head. Um, and he's done what any decent father would do and he's confronted the guy. And if it looks like it's true that it's three men alone in a place of centre parks. Now, there's a centre parks not that far from me. I've been there. It's definitely a family place. Um, you you may get groups, I suppose. You might get groups that go there. But it does definitely feel like it's made for families. And I think that they're very fussy about who they're, you know, who's hiring these little houses and cottages because they, they don't want stags and hens and things like that there. I'm sure they don't. It, it seems like very much, you know, that anyway, I don't want to label that point. Um, so he's done what any decent father would do. And, you know, I'm going to put the caveat in. Tommy punches people too often. Tommy, if you watch this, you do. You, you punch people too much. You know, and, and, and I know, I, I, Flack coming, fully understand. Yes, he's defending his daughter. And, Yes, even though I'm a total worse and not, not a tough guy at all, I think I would have to smack the guy as well. Um, so it's not about this individual case, but I'm just on about in general. You know, there's, there's too many instances of, of violence and it's really hard to defend Tommy to people that have only heard one side of the narrative, the narrative that the, the state and the media want them to hear, and they're just rolling their eyes if you're trying to defend him. Um, uh, I saw the video of him being arrested and him and losing his mind, and people say, "Oh, we should keep calm." And it's like, how would you keep calm like that when you know your little girl, something you cherish, and your 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 everything, every ounce in you is to protect, has been violated, and you know by some creepy bloke, assuming that it's true. I mean, as I said earlier, I don't think it couldn't be true, could it? I mean, how's a little girl like that gonna lie? As brilliantly as that, no, no, that was, uh, I'm not having it. Um, so, yeah, you watch the police say to him over and over, we're dealing with it. So well, what have you done? What have you done? Have you, why are you arresting me? You know, why are you not like confiscated this guy's phone? And maybe the phones of the guys with him. Maybe they are nonces. Maybe, maybe they've got stuff on there. Or maybe, maybe it was just an accident. Who knows? But it should be thoroughly investigated. And you shouldn't be arresting the father who's trying to... to oh my God. Why, why do we even have to say this stuff? That's the frustration here. Is you have to sort of... You have to justify something so bloody obvious. You know, it would be fully expected. Like, if I was somewhere and I, I mean, accidentally touched a young kid, I'd be oh, shit, I didn't... You know, it was an accident. You know, I didn't mean it. You know, it would be... Uh, and and you, you wouldn't be at all surprised, I suppose, if someone did swing for you because that's, that's their, you know, their little 
treasure, isn't it? Oh, I don't know, I'm waffling now. So anyways, another one going on. Oh yeah, uh, so I was driving home. I must admit, I've been quite tuned out from it today. I've not been feeling very well. You can probably hear my voice um, lately. Um, and um, I heard on news. Oh yeah, the former leader of the EDL, Tommy Robinson, has been arrested for assault. That's it. That's it. That's the media's story on it. So there'll be people all over the country just getting reconfirmed again. Tommy Robinson's a thug. Tommy Robinson's a thug. There you go. So anyway, what are you going to do? Um, sorry for the weird camera angle. It seems I'll put you in a little cupboard in my not in my kitchen. Anyway, um, this one's over. Thoughts, guys. Cheers. Bye.